on a music front, what I got coming up next is an album that I'm super excited about. The project's gonna be released March, in March, sometime in March, early March. Over the course of this past year has just been me just crafting and trying to find my own individuality when it comes to music. I'm, su I'm super excited, I'm super pumped. I feel like this is gonna be the first step of me expressing who I am as an individual to an even broader platform. It's just gonna be a really great year. 2017 is gonna be an amazing year for not only my music, but just for music in general. This shit's gonna be crazy. I'm, I'm really excited about what that project is gonna do for El Paso, because that's kind of really what was in the back of my mind when I, when I even started the project, was just back home, being in high school, El Paso, being a military child, having a parent in the army, like all of that, it's just kind of what I kept in with everything that I wrote on the album. So for the March release, I don't have a title for it yet, but I will be announcing it soon, sooner than you think. It's just gonna be crazy, I'm so excited for it. It's gonna be dope. Some of my music creative influences are artists like Gorillaz. I used to listen to Gorillaz in middle school. Uh, Daft Punk, uh, Father John Misty, Grizzly Bears, Fleet Foxes. Who else did I think was cool? James Blake is super dope. I, Frank Ocean is super cool. I used to listen to K-pop. I thought that shit was just so dope, even though I could, couldn't even understand the shit. I just thought their styles were just so cool. They were so unique. Uh, who else did I listen to growing up? Damn, Chance the Rapper is really cool. Uh, who else? I'm trying to think of like female singers. SZA is dope. She's so cool, just her style and like her radiance. Like her in person, like when I saw her in person, literally it's just like a fucking ray of sunshine. Just SZA, she's so dope. She was like, you, you want this? I'm like, nah, I'm good, but, but thanks for the offer. She's super fucking cool. I listen to like soul classics, like music, soul child, Brandy, you got Aaliyah. Um, I don't know, it's just all over the place, to be honest. My situations I go through and making them into songs so people can, you know, I want to listen to Kayla Brianna because I'm feeling like this and I know that this song will make me feel better. Maurice told me, he was like, you know what, man? His voice was really soft at that point. It was like, I've been watching you for years. You know, we, we want you to, we want you to write a little something for us. So that was a, that was a dream come true. The thing about what's dope about Kendrick is that he speaks to everybody. You know, he speaks to the gangsters, he speaks to the backpackers, he speaks to the people in the club. He's speaking to everybody and it's casually positive. It's just not obviously positive, a lot of it, but it's all positive. A lot of people are like, you're a female traveling alone, weren't you scared? And I'm like, I was, but once you do it, it was the most scary but amazing and freeing thing I ever did.